Hey friends, happy Super Bowl Sunday. I think I'm the only person like not at a Super Bowl party, not having one at my house, and not having Super Bowl food. We're like, I'm totally cooking dinner right now. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, I got a lot of questions on this last video that I posted yesterday. So I'm just gonna do like a really big breakdown on transaction number one. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys, I didn't really go over like the inserts, but inside the inserts that you should have gotten today, which is 2-7, I know in my Houston Chronicle, we had a orange sheet of paper. It's just one thin strip. I actually threw it away already, but in that on that orange sheet of paper, it was actually um, like a little tied, um, said Tide all over, it's orange, but there was a Tide coupon for $2 off that you can actually use for Liquid Tide or Tide Pods. So if you haven't thrown your papers away and you didn't know about that, just go back. It wasn't an insert, it was just one sheet of orange paper that sticks out all the time like those damn direct TV papers that come inside CBS. That's what it reminded me of. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to tell everybody that um, I did get mine and I actually cut them and I forgot to mention it earlier um, in the other video yesterday. So let's do a breakdown on transaction one last night and why I did not spend any money out of pocket and got a zero total. So first off, we know that um, when I first talked about the pawns, they are buy one, get one free and I had a $3 off to coupon. I also um, got these waters for $8.99 and I had a $3 off coupon and these um, uh, cleansing wipes are $6.49. I used a $3 off coupon. The cards, um, we all know the greeting card deal there. And then we have the um, makeup here, which were buy, uh, buy one, get one free with the coupon that I use. Now, some stores, um, some CVS stores have it where the cashiers just do an automatic deduct, which is the value of the coupon, so they just hit a button. So some stores, some cashiers, you'll get lucky and they'll take the value of the coupon. Um, kind of like at Target, they call it the K1 button, but at CVS, for me, in my experience, they don't do that. They just go back down the um, screen and see how much it was. Now, let me grab the receipt. So, let's go over it. So, I had those $5 off um, greeting cards and somebody sent me those. So, I, I have no idea where they came from. Somebody sent them to me and I really took advantage of them and used them all. I also had a $10 off of 40 facial care. So I think my total, I can't remember what the total was. Okay, so after the pawns subtracted, I wanna say my total was like at 108, maybe it was like 103. It was somewhere around that number, I can't remember exactly. So I'm just gonna like wing it off the top of my head. So, uh, come on phone. So 103. And then just in the buy one get one free coupons for the makeup, um, those were $26.97. I added all three coupons up. So just subtracting those, we get down to $76, okay? So then I have a $10 off for 40 of facial care. So I'm gonna subtract that 10. So we're at $66. And um, I also had a 30% off coupon. So that 30% off coupon went a long way. That's what helped me out so much. So um, we have, we're at $66. So then remember I had $3 off coupons for the um, Garnier items. So that was $12 because I had four of them. I had two of the, the waters and two of the facial wipes. So. 66 minus 12, we're at $54. And then minus $3 because I had $3 off two for the pawns. So we're at $51.03. And then I'm gonna subtract $10 because I had two $5 off of the greeting card coupons. So that gives me $41. So that's just in manufactured coupons right there alone. 
So, $41 just in manufactured coupons. I'm sorry, we're down to $41 where we're at right now. So, $41. So, at this point, I still have my CVS coupons that I showed you, which was the CVS $4 off of a $10 Revlon purchase, $4 off of a $15 Revlon purchase, $3 off of a $15 cosmetic purchase. So, that's $8, 9 10 11 So, that's $11 right there. So, we're at $30. And then, here, this is where it got tricky. So, because I had the 30% off coupon, remember I told you that last week I had that coupon and it didn't, I, I, he scanned it, but it kicked it back out when all of the um, coupons are validating, you know, when it shows you pending validation on the register. Um, that's when everything kind of like kicks back out and then it goes back in. So, that's why it always gets kind of tricky at the register. So, what happened was that he was scanning, sorry, my camera cut off. So what happened was that he was scanning all of my coupons and when I handed him my um, stack of coupons, my ECBs were under there. So he thought um, just to scan all of the extra bucks and I caught him and I was like, no, 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 you got to put the 30% off in first because usually I just give him a couple of ECBs, not the whole stack, but I didn't even catch it myself. So he had already scanned... Um, after I looked at it, he actually had scanned a $2 ECB and a $5 ECB because I had a $5 extra buck from when um, I told you guys when I first went into CVS, um, I had a rain check for Tide Pods and I, I had three, no, I had four of those coupons left. So I wanted to use those coupons and when I used those coupons, I got a manual, a manual um, ECB that printed for five dollars when you spend 15 but that was on the rain check deal so that was the five dollar extra buck that I had that he scanned and then I also had a two dollar extra buck from last week's uh, greeting card deal so he had scanned both of those and it was okay no big deal so he scanned both of those so that is seven dollars so I'm gonna take seven dollars off so now we're at twenty three dollars so at $23, um, this is when he puts the 30% off in. He put the 30% in. I don't know exactly what it was supposed to be, but it ended up not be, like not taking it, and that was because the coupon actually expired, the CVS coupon. But, you know, CVS does take their expired coupons for up to two weeks. So he went to go get the calculator to manually put it in, and so what he did was he just put... $10, um, another $10 coupon for the 30% off because for some reason it didn't take it. So subtract 10, we're at $13. And then also it kicked out my $3 off of 15 of a cosmetic purchase coupon. It kicked that out. So he had to go back in and scan it again. So that's how I got my zero total. I know it's confusing, but it ha it happened is because I w if I wouldn't have had my extra bucks under there with the regular coupons, then you would have seen that um, some of my extra bucks did go ahead and scan. I knew the $5 one had scanned, but I didn't know the $2 one until after I got home because I don't ever look at the receipt in detail until after I leave. So... I did have $7 in extra bucks, but it was because I had the 30% off coupon is what really helped me. So that's how I got my total like wiped out. And next time what I'll do is just make sure that um, I do the ECB separate so that you guys know exactly what I'm doing because I, I showed you guys all the coupons that I did but it gets kind of tricky when you're having so many coupons and they're validating and then you guys know how it is at CVS once you scan those ECBs it kicks back all of your percent off coupons all of your four dollars off of 15 it kicks them all out and they have to go back and put them all in so that's how it um, got me down to a zero total 
um, was really the 30% off coupon and he just gave me a $10 coupon for it because it kicked it out so he was like I'm just gonna do a $10 coupon a CVS coupon and I think another one was like a $4 and that was my 30% so that's how I got it and um, I was gonna say something else I can't remember oh so if you want to go and do the deals that I did because I know everybody does not have those $5 off coupons for the greeting cards so don't try to do that so that you're not um, like out of pocket a lot of money so I would say if you have the $10 off of 40 facial care coupon it was a really good um, deal because just this alone all of my facial care products was $41 so okay so $41.94 if you have the $10 off of 40 so you're at $41.94 so let's just subtract the 10 you're at $31.94 one of these is the pawns is going to automatically come off because it's buy one get one free so minus $5.49 your total is now at $26.45. Well, you had five $3 off coupons. Why? Because you had four for the Garnier products. That's four $3 off coupons, so minus 12. And then subtract $3 because you had a $3 off of two for the pawns. So right now, just for these facial care products, it's $11.45. So that's like really good. Now keep in mind that you're going to get $5 back for buying two of these because when you um, spend $15 you get a $5 extra buck. So if you have any ECBs to burn and you want to do the facial care deals, I would definitely do that because if you have a $10 ECB, you'll use that $10 extra buck, you'll pay a dollar out of pocket for all of these things for the facial care products and then you'll get a $5 extra buck back. So you'll take that $5 extra buck, and I'm just saying if you have ECBs to burn, take that $5 extra buck and start doing these deals. I would not do them all in the same transaction unless you have a lot of um, ECBs because when you spend $15, you get a $5 extra buck on these. So. These are $8.99 and $8.49. $8.99 plus $8.49 is $17.48 minus $8.99 because of the buy one get one free coupon. And if you have the $5 ECB that you could use from the um, first transaction, minus that $5. And you'll pay $3.49 out of pocket. Now, if you had a $3 off $15 cosmetic purchase coupon, use that and then your out of pocket would only be 49 cents. But if you don't, you'll pay $3.49 out of pocket and then you'll get a $5 ECB printed because when you spend $15, you get a $5 extra buck. And then just do the deal again because you can do this deal six times per card. And what you do is you just keep it going. And that is how you roll your extra bucks. So I really hope that this helped out. I'm sorry that it was kind of confusing, but um, I didn't mean for it to be so confusing. But um, I do try to show you guys exactly what I do every single time to make it easier. But yeah, so I hope that this scenario helped you out better for those of you who want to do the same exact deals that I do. And then when I did the second transaction, when I got the paper towels and the Scott, that stuff is actually advertised in the ad for the spend 30 and you get a $10 extra up. I did not use um, the coupons for those items. Um, I could have used the $1 off Scott's coupon for the tissue because it does say in the ad $1 off, but the coupon that I had was like for the tubeless and I was like, I don't know if that's the right coupon, so I'm not even going to argue. I didn't want to use the coupon and someone say, oh, you misused the coupon. So I didn't use it. So on the second transaction that I did, um, I used ECBs just to pay for all of it. So that's why I did the second transaction because I was like, the first one went so well, I did not want to like 
not walk out of the store with as much stuff as I could. So next week's deals are really good. Um, there's a $10 off 40 coupon that's going to print at the red machine for everybody. And then there's also going to be a Viva deal. So I have some Viva coupons that I want to use. So um, I'm going to stock back up on paper towels. And uh, yeah, I'll come back later this week with that video. Um, I promise to have that video up for you guys at least by Wednesday, um, if not sooner. So, um, happy Sunday um, and happy Super Bowl. Go Broncos! <laughs> I have to go with the Broncos because my mom's in Vegas right now and they bet on the Broncos, so go Broncos. Alright, I will see you guys in the next video and have a good one. Bye!